Inkscape 1.3 is here. I wanna bring you along as I take it out for a test drive. I'll show you some of the big new features and a few hidden gems. First off, the performance has been noticeably improved. Check out this trace bitmap we'll do on a large image, a multicolor 22 scan. I'll hit apply. The probability of this crashing my old Inkscape was high but watch how fat it's already done. That is a huge improvement right off the bat on a very powerful feature. So bravo to the developers, everyone that contributed to the new release. Thank you, let's go on. One big highlight for me personally, I was very excited about was the new shape builder tool. If I group all these shapes together, the shape builder tool is right here. And if you're on the plus, I can click on different parts of this grid. And in this case, I'm making a monogram. Once you have it the way you like it, click finish. Shape Builder is such a great addition, it renders some of the old tutorials obsolete. I was thinking of the Celtic Knot tutorial I did specifically, and in my research, they added a set of pre-designed grids. Let's go check it out. If you go to File, New from Template, the pop-up gives you all the normal ones we're used to, but check this out, Shape Builder. Not only do they give us access to these presets, Celtic Knot is right there create from template. It's just sitting here waiting for us to make something. Many of the changes came in terms of UI and interface. You can see on the ruler, whatever is selected, it shows the span. Also, some stuff was under the hood. I knew something was up because I started to get the same question over and over. Where did Guides Creator go? Let's do a timestamp here. I'm gonna insert this as a card on the old tutorials. If you're looking for Guides Creator, go to Extensions. It used to be under Render. Now it's under Document guides creator. If you just clicked over from one of the mandala videos, stick around or go back, whatever you need to do. Here's a change It worked on the efficiency, helps with workflow. Before, if you had editable text and you wanted to do some graphics on it, you had to do a weird path, object to path, break apart, combine. It wasn't super intuitive. The upgrade goes like this. You have your text when you want to start to do path effects on it, go to path, object to path, now you can run with it. And digging around, I found a hidden gem here under extensions, generate from path. While I was playing around and exploring last night, I found this long shadow. That's new, here's the presets. You can tell it how long you want the shadow to run, what angle, and it does it. All in a couple clicks, super easy, much better workflow. I was curious to see how the performance enhancements might have affected filters, and one of the trickiest ones was always watercolor. Let's try it out, filters. Texture, watercolor, <laughs> and that's that's what we're used to, but let's see how easy it is to fix it. Filter editor. If you weren't familiar with the filter editor, let's just say it was busy. This is a lot cleaner. For blur, reduce that. Turbulence, this is much, much easier. Displacement, this is much clearer, and I think it's important because Inkscape is powerful. It's so powerful, I think sometimes we can get lost, overloaded with all the different choices and options, but when it's simpler like this and becomes more intuitive, you can do some cool things. Here's something new. This has already been changed to a path. If I select just the end, the old fashioned way to do blur was to pull the slider, or you can go up to filters, blur, and manually isolate horizontal or vertical. But now, if you go to Edit Paths by Node and add some blur, you'll see two new handles. One pulls the blur horizontally and the other vertical. There's a new path function called Fracture under Path Fracture. I just started playing with it. Let's say we take this circle and we're gonna spray it out randomly all over the U and the N. Fracture seems to cut down a lot of steps. I can just grab everything. Nothing's grouped, nothing special was done. Go to Path, Fracture. It chopped it up there, but if I fix the fill and stroke back to what it was, take the stroke off, I'll use the Sculpt tool to push things around. It's so interesting. I'm not sure exactly what I can do with this, but there's something there. There's a new feature I'm very grateful for if you go to the Pages tool. It's the ability to create margins. In the last video, I showed you the workflow when we did this cover together for the project book I'm making, Inkscape Illustrated. It's important to me that the whole book is made with Inkscape. And I had mocked up margins on the fly, but now the feature is built in. I can just type in the margins I need and automatically it shows up on the page. That in itself will be a huge time saver and I really do appreciate all the work that went into Inkscape 1.3. If you didn't see this previous tutorial, check it out right here. Thanks.